The following activity is a memory game and it involves students working together to put together a story or a process of some sort. I believe I've mentioned this in previous episodes and I feel like it does bear repeating because it is one of the most effective games and tools that a teacher has in her or his arsenal for getting students to repeat information, recall information, practice it, and to embed it in their long-term memories. So it is one of the more effective resources that a teacher has. And it's very simply to get the students in a circle or to get them in groups, doesn't matter how they are formed, and to give them each a separate sentence strip. And in that sentence strip, there is a sentence that the student has to memorize. And you can instruct the students to memorize the sentence that they have. So you give the students maybe five to 10 minutes to do this. And then when they are done, you take the strips back. And then in their groups, they are to piece together those sentence strips in a logical order that makes the most sense, obviously. So if it's a story about Little Red Riding Hood, maybe one student has Little Red Riding Hood going into the forest. Another student has Little Red Riding Hood visiting the cottage. And then another student has a sentence that says, Little Red Riding Hood is in someone's bed or some other example like that. And so you can have the students talk amongst themselves to decide who is first, who is second, and who is third in the story. Another way you can spin this is if you're teaching a science class, you can do this with processes. If you're teaching this in a history class, you could do this with the series of events that led to the culmination of some big war or some big treaty or armistice. Or you can have students even make their own story and then describe their reasoning behind making their own story the way they did. So this is one of those activities that you can really be flexible with, as with many of the other activities I mentioned in previous episodes. If you want to do a variation of this activity, and if you have cards at your disposal or paper, you can make the students make cards of different vocabulary and draw pictures that match the vocabulary. And then you can have the students play a game of memory whereby they connect words to pictures or words to different concepts, words to definitions. And in each consecutive turn, a student can try to match different cards. And if they get the right definition and the right match, they can go again and collect as many cards as they can uh, to become the winner. So that is another activity that you can possibly do with memorizing different vocabulary and different concepts that you think students need to know. So anyway, there's a lot in this episode and I can't go over all of it, but if you do have any questions, please do contact me. I am always more than happy to help anybody who is interested in improving their their teaching skills anywhere in the world and to try to impact the lives of students in a positive way. So I'm always more than happy to help, of course. Bye for now.